All right, today we're going to, uh, actually I'm doing two or three videos uh, today, but the one, I'm going to do one at a time. Uh, this particular video is, is, or actually this series video is about primary, secondaries, and what to look for in troubleshoot. It's just some things that I have to say on a telephone and, and email, and so it would be a whole lot easier just to show you, and then of course helps both of us. It cuts down on my phone time and email time, and uh, actually gives you a, you know, a, a, a visual of what, what we're looking for. All right, I always like to get started. You know, remember, we actually do sell stuff. We don't just help, help you with clutching issues, but uh, just remember we got what we think is the best belt on the planet. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down here, subscribe to our videos so that you can keep up with everything, anything we may be doing. Here will usually be a little link up here in the top corner that goes to our website. Uh, and we'll probably have a link below in the description that goes to our website too. All right, but the reason we do this video is, is a guy will call here and he will say, hey man, I'm having trouble with my vehicle, da 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 da. So I always say, well, the first thing you need to do is take both clutches off and take them apart as far as you can with a clutch puller and a spring compressor for the secondary, okay? And then just start looking for things. And so that's where this video comes in because I'm not there. We, you know, I always say I can't smell it, taste it, eat, eat it, nothing. I, I can just point you in, in a direction, okay? Um, actually, while I'm mentioning there's no need of me doing the very first part of this video four times today, because uh, I'll forget something, so there's going to be probably a weird transition. Uh, I already mentioned today this is about this primary, but I'm going to use it for the turbo primary and for the beginning parts of the secondaries um, a little later today in a video. Again, just to keep me from having to do this part so far. I know, shut up and get to it. Okay. Again, just apologize for the weird transition. It's about troubleshooting uh, primary clutches and secondary clutches when you have issues. And I always, you know, having to email people say, hey, where's a good place to start? Here's a good place to start. All right, so I'm sure I covered that in the weird transition part for this. Let me use it on three or four videos at one time, keep me from having to repeat. All right, so uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to cover a secondary clutch. This one actually, I think, is for Razor XP 900, but this particular design, I call it the EBS style, uh, four roller style, whatever you want to call it. Even though this exact clutch is only used on XP900, uh, this style of clutch is on 0809800 uh, 11 through 14 XP900s. Uh, this style is on 1415 XP1000s, two seat, four seat, high lifter, don't care. Um, it is used on some other models. I'm just sitting here trying to think what else. But point is, if yours has a removable helix and has a snap ring on the dampener part, it is this style. Also, if it has a center shaft like so, okay? So, when we are troubleshooting, see if we have a problem. Um, this is what I like to do. I've, I've taken the liberty of taking these apart. We already have videos. I'll show you how to put helixes and springs in, whatever. I didn't read to rehash that. And I was just doing it to speed up this video. You know, I'm long-winded if you watched them, so any speed up is a blessing. Okay, so the three uh, secondaries we're going to cover this is the first style. All right, so first thing you want to do, and we'll go to the overhead view, and this one does not have our Hunter Works rollers in it yet. Uh, but anyway, you want to look to see if your rollers are flat spotted. These are the OE rollers. They will usually get a flat spot in them. Uh, the material, in my opinion, is not that great. We don't have problems. So that's first thing you would check. Um, again, this, this, uh, what I'm showing you today is what you can do with just a spring compressor. Uh, you know, taking as far apart as you can with just a spring compressor. Okay. So anyway. Back to this, flat spotted rollers, do they roll, they look bad, is the right side of this clutch grooved, uh, worn out, anything at all in this area, okay? Now we'll flip it over on the back, spring and uh, spring helix and dampener is already out. It's best to go and pull it apart, see if it moves, see what this bushing looks like. I've seen where the bushing in the back half is coming out, all right, they just, just about have, you'd have to I don't put a bushing in, buy a new clutch. So you want to check this bushing. This shaft, a lot of people, they will send me pictures, and this shaft where the helix runs, it'll have worn into it. If it's worn down into this shaft at all or has grooves, gotta have us a new clutch, okay? 
So that's the basic clutch part. The, the, the dampener, okay, the dampener in, in these style, this is the OE dampener that is made out of powdered metal and does crack or break and here's also a rubber piece in here that you could you would want to check to see if it's damaged beyond repair and like I said this piece is known to crack and break because it's made out of powdered metal and that's what our heavy duty dampener that we sell is here to replace make sure always put it back in the right spot when you're doing it there's a uh, whoops there's a cutout uh, there's a cutout in this little deal. So I call it missing tooth, whatever, and the white line from the factory is there. Make sure you put it back in the same place. Inspect that. Helix. People will buy a brand new one and they see this little bitty cut right here and they think something's wrong. No, sure, this thing has made, been around a mandrel. Uh, one flat piece been around a mandrel. It's supposed to be like that. There's a gap. But what you want to do is, is this bushing here in good shape? Is it metal exposed? Whatever. All right. The helix, does it still look like this? Now, different ones are going to be shaped a little different. Some, you know, may not even have an EBS knot. Some may have a real wide one. But the main thing is, is the surface on it. Now, this one is a cast aluminum. It has pits in it. This is a brand new one. It's, it's just part of aluminum. So if you uh, see that well that's nothing to get alarmed about okay what does that surface look like bushing look like uh, I didn't cover the rollers what do your inside rollers look like okay that's, uh, turn flat spotted make sure your washers there and I call it the oh Jesus clip because when you lose it you'd be saying oh Jesus uh, make sure that's in place okay so that's what to look for on a uh, EBS style clutch. All right, we'll, we'll move to the, if you ever hear me on the phone or get an email and go, oh, you got the piece of crap clutch. Well, this is it, okay? This is used in 14 through 19 model Ranger 900s that do not have EBS. It is used in, I uh, can't remember all the years of 570s, but any year 570, that does not have engine braking system. And then in one year of Razor 900s, 15, that is the, uh, this will be using a standard trail without power steering because that model also does not have engine braking. And then the S model, the S model has the piece of crap secondary clutch in it as well. So that leaves the, I guess, EC, whatever, if it's a trail with power steering, and engine braking, it has that previous secondary we just discussed, okay? So, this thing comes off in two pieces off, this, off the vehicle. So when you take the bolt out, there's a spring and it may try to come off in two pieces on it. If you can get it off, of, you know, holding it together, that'd be great. Uh, but when you get it, of course, you wanna flip it over, look at the condition of this cheap ass spring cup here. If your dealer's a dumb ass and wanted to get rid of your, uh, oh, some sound these, these secondaries make, they would have removed this ring and left the pressure of this spring and cup on a little bitty snap ring on the shaft. Somebody from Polaris thought it was a good idea. Gets rid of the noise, but eventually snap ring pops off. This pops into the oil seal and transmission, causes problems. So make sure this is there, all this looks good. Flip her over, go on overhead view. You just twist it out, okay? There is a washer in between the two halves. Do not lose it, because if you take it apart, you know, on the vehicle, it's gonna fall, go wherever, okay? Still on overhead view. This actually is a used one. Um, I can't tell, I don't have my glasses on, but there is certainly some wear in it. Uh, this one isn't too awful bad but it's just a cheap ass design. Um, I don't care for it, uh, but you will want to look in here on both of them and see if there's a wear or if the, if the uh, rollers are gone, the little shafts that the rollers are on would have eat into it. Let's take a look at that. Now, we'll flip this over and here are your rollers. They got a washer and an old Jesus clip. What condition are the washers in? Uh, I mean, excuse me, rollers in, okay? They, they roll, they have flat spots. These were starting to get pretty bad. This guy come and bought our EBS style secondary, okay? So if these rollers are bad, 
it, don't replace the rollers. We don't sell rollers for this model, but don't put rollers in because they're the victim. This part is the problem, okay? So that's what's troubleshoot on the POS secondary, okay? Now, let's move into the 16, this is 16 and newer, uh, Razor 900s, Generals, 1000S, XP1000, no turbos are in this. Um, I'll have a separate video on turbo secondary, uh, but nonetheless, uh, this is all these models. This is the new ball style clutch built on shaft design. Um, so if yours looks like this, with square, or has square pucks in it from a factory, that is this style, okay? And again, I've taken the liberty to uh, so we can speed this up. Well, since we're starting here, we'll go overhead view. Once again, no different. Uh, bushing and outside is split, that's normal. What does this look like? You can see this one's black, that's fine. You want to clean it maybe. Why you got it apart, what condition? Same as the other. See, here's a wide. We'll just give you a comparison to the other one, all right? Look how wide that EBS side is. Seems like this was, uh, I don't even remember what vehicle I got this out of, but it's a used one. All right, so once again, check the surfaces, everything in here. What's the bushing look like? Okay, there's your helix. All right, so this is no longer called a dampener because it's not a dampener. It is actually called a spider, which I wish they wouldn't call this a spider and a piece of the primary spider, but they do. What do the inside rollers look like? Are they good? Do they roll? And once again, uh, oh Jesus clips right, washers right. Never use Hunter Works rollers on the inside. Always use OE rollers on the inside of any clutch. Remember that, okay? Check the roller. Spring, is it broke, I guess? What condition is our bushes in, our bushings in? Once again, this bushing here is split. What condition is it in, okay? Flipping it over, we'll go roll the head view. Um, I probably got, it's brand new from us selling people sec, uh, secondaries with square puck. If yours has still got the square puck in it like this, you're going to want to check this side. Is it uh, from the top angle down, since this camera's up here, is it arced? Has it got a groove when you open it up right there? Is there a groove from this just slide back and forth? This is the side that it'll have the problem with. Okay, a little bit of it's okay. You can smooth it up, put our round rollers in. Okay, that's something to look at. Um, a new issue that we've seen on the 17 and newer because the 16 didn't have this. They call it a top hat. It did not have it. Uh, it actually just had a hole with a different deal. But these, they appear to be, when they're on their vehicle, slid out when in fact they can't move because this is tightened up against your transmission shaft with a bolt but when this breaks loose the whole clutch moves over okay um, so so check make sure that that is still in the position it is it's a press fit uh, this ain't about fixing that but what, what would you do about it the only thing that I would try is, is cleaning the surfaces up with some brake clean and getting some green Loctite and put on both surfaces and press it back down, down in there and let it cure and then try to use it. Um, if that don't work, you're just pretty much going to have to get a new secondary and, or I guess you could buy a new bearing or new top hat, both of them parts and put them in if you wanted to. There's not too many people going to do that. Uh, but you certainly could do that. Okay, so that was actually a, a relatively short video for me um, to cover points uh, on these three secondary clutches, um, what to look for when troubleshooting. So, uh, like I said, if you guys have any questions, uh, shoot me an email. I know I'm hard to get on the phone. I understand that. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Uh, link up here should be a link to us down here. All right, thanks, guys.